Hey guys, it's Peggy Davis 3. I'm a tester here on Test.io, just like you. There I am enjoying a delicious cup of coffee, which is a requirement, I think, for all testers. It's a lot of coffee. So I'm going to show you how to record your screen using a program that is either built into your Macintosh system or free on the internet, and that is something called QuickTime Player. So let me just show you. I have QuickTime Player. It's already in my dock. If you don't have it in your dock, it's in your Applications folder or however you start things on your Windows computer. So you go to New, Screen Recording, and this little box pops up. Um, now, the default setting is for None, I believe, in terms of sound and uh, the microphone. Usually you don't want sound unless you're doing a usability test and then you would want your voice to be recorded because you're giving comment on a website. So 99% of the time when you're recording a bug, you don't need sound, so you should have that off. And uh, so now I have mine off and I'm just going to click this little red button here. And it says click to record the full screen, drag to record part of the screen, or an end recording by clicking the stop button in the menu bar, which is, uh, you can't see it right now, but um, it's very faint up here in the uh, top. I can't know any reason why you wouldn't want to record the whole screen, because one thing that you need for your bug report is uh, the date. So you're not going to get the date unless you record the full screen. So click the full screen and so you see the date and uh, Windows users I believe it will be in the bottom so anyway now you're ready to show your issue whatever it is I'm on my uh, device screen and uh, it's obviously important to uh, keep all your devices updated everyone so now I've showed my issue it was a really great bug I got paid a lot of money for it potentially then you go into the uh, you see this square up here with the circle around it. That's how you stop it. And then you get this window popping up. Now, one thing that happens with a uh, the QuickTime player is it saves it as a MOV file. So you save it and it's called the big fat issue. And I put mine on my desktop so it's really easy to find. You can put it anywhere you want. You can direct it to go whatever drive you want, but now, uh, with the bug reports on Test.io, you want to put an MP4 on it. And uh, additionally, you want those videos to be one minute and less than 25 megabytes. And so how do we do that, you ask? Well, good thing you came here because I'm going to show you. So this is a very short issue that I showed, which was, you know, nothing. It was like a few seconds and it's already up to 20.3 megabytes. So there's a couple ways to do that make it into an mp4 first of all and second of all uh, make it smaller compress it a couple I you see I have a zillion programs here but uh, handbrake and uh, mpeg stream clip are two programs that are free on the interwebs and you can get them for both Windows and Macintosh and you can download them and they're free so uh, handbrake is the one I use mostly and the setting that I use is make an mp4 file fast 1080p 30 and then if you recorded audio on accident you can turn this to none and then you will have the proper format for your video so then all you do is click start and Depending on how fast your computer is, it will make the uh, MP4 file. So we started at uh, 20 megabytes, and I am on a MacBook Pro that's about two years old. So I think my Mac Pro is much faster than this, and I would be done by now. And so I'm going to skip forward. You're going to see a little bit of a jump, and it's going to finish. It's going to be magic. 98 and we are done ish there it's done so go to the desktop you see your 20.3 megabyte file is now 
680 kilobytes, which is great. I don't know how long it is. Let's just go look at it. We'll open it up with a QuickTime player again. It's 40 seconds long, which is under a minute of our time limit. And you'll see it looks very good. And more importantly, you can see the, the date up here, which is required. Because if you don't have the date on there, your bug is going to get rejected. So don't do that. That is very bad. And no one likes that. Uh, that's it. That's how you record an issue or a bug with QuickTime. And I wish you luck with QuickTime. It is free. It is free for Macintosh users. You already have it. And Windows users, you have to go get it. But it's very, very free.